She like me, she might be what I need She get spicy, wanna taste this, come by me yeah. I'm icy, way too icy I get paper I'm a big green, I'm spicy I'm fat What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I miss you guys so much. I love how last month in December in my video I was like I can't wait to spend the month with you and then proceeded to not spend the month with you. Not just December but January too. I am so sorry. I had so many unexpected twists and turns in December. It was ridiculous. The new year was not new yearing like I wanted it to new year okay <laughs> and that's just the truth. You guys this new medicine that I'm currently on is absolutely insane. The price is absolutely insane. Everything about it was absolutely insane. If you guys are new here, hello. Autoimmune girlies rise. I have multiple autoimmune diseases, one main one that I talk about a lot on this channel called sarcoidosis, and it has caused me so much pain and agony, okay? I also have uveitis, which I've talked about many times in the eyes, and this is the first time, I didn't even update you guys. This is the first time about a month ago, I have zero inflammation in my eyes right now. I actually asked the doctor for pictures of my first time I ever saw her to the last time, my last visit with her. It is absolutely ridiculous ridiculous how much inflammation was actually in my eye like when I say I was actually gonna go blind I cannot believe that this woman has transformed my eye into the thing that it is and I'm forever indebted to my uveitis specialist love her thanks boo but because of the uveitis and the sarcoidosis I have had to switch to injections other than my shots that was an unexpected bill that I did not expect at all in December and to top it all off you guys literally one random morning I touched my tooth and the filling, I am 24. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, if you live in the US, by the time you're 21 or 22, your dental insurance is now gone. It's not, it's separated from your parents. Mine was 21. I've had a couple people say that theirs was 22, but I lost my dental insurance when I was 21 and I just never got another one. And when I tell you I ran to the dentist so fast, I had like a C shape in my tooth and I just was not gonna come on camera cracked out like that so I decided to wait until I got the root canal. I still have a little chip in my front tooth and I need to get it fixed but I am filming right now because I actually bought this ghetto bootleg as temporary filling. It's been a journey okay my teeth are fine everything's fine I calm down I got my mental under control everything's fine everything's great everything's fine so we are here I've been wanting to try a low impact workout for a long time because my eye doctor who I adore she is turning into my all-purpose doctor even though she is specifically for uveita she's turning into like so what should I do about my legs? She is the doctor of all doctors. And I told her about my arthritis pain that I was having at the end of the year um, that came out of literally nowhere. And she recommended that I don't take any high impact classes. I remember vlogging for you guys when I went to F45 and it was such a good workout. But after that workout, you guys, I had sore knees for one month. It was affecting me a lot. So I ended up doing a low impact workout and Pilates was the first thing I thought of. So I ended up doing a free class today. I did one hot Pilates class one time and I did not enjoy it. I It was cool, but it was too much sitting on the ground and rolling around. It was hot in there, it was sweaty. I ended up looking up Reformer Pilates and I ended up finding a place called Club Pilates. But the instructor and I, something about the energy in the room, it was just not vibing with me. We did end up using different components on the machine. Even though they are small movements, you can definitely feel it. I only did it for 30 minutes for the intro class and I still feel it in my muscles right now. But yes, that was the reason for my absence. I did tell you guys a couple times last year that I was planning on doing a whole autoimmune video explaining the processes that I go through, the medicine that I take, the symptoms that I have, these struggles that I encounter. And the more I was editing that video, the more I decided not to post it because I just feel like it was a really negative, bad, and kind of sad video. Um, I still am gonna keep it for myself. And I do have clips of me getting my infusion for the first time. I do share some struggles that I had while 
going through probably the weirdest transition of this autoimmune journey. This was around the summertime when I was not on any medication at all, if you guys remember that from my previous vlogs. But to give you guys an update, that's where I've been, that's what I've been doing. Just having a slight little breakdown. The one good thing that I did do that did not involve mental turmoil, I actually am almost finished reading Atomic Habits. I have two parts left and I'm super, super excited. I'm like halfway through the book. I really wanna finish it this week and start my next book on my list, which is The 4-Hour Work Week by Tim Ferris. I'm really excited to start that book. So I have a couple of errands to run around here. I am in front of Tiger right now. I need to go in there and get a couple of groceries. I need to go to the pet pharmacy. Yes, even the dog is on pills, girl. I need to pick up trash bags for my mom's house and we can do a check-in on Blue, her adopted dog, if you guys haven't been here for a minute or if you forgot who I am because I've been gone for so long. We can go get those check-in on Blue and go back home. So let's get started. Let's go to Target and pick up some things. Thursday, 12.39 p.m. and I'm actually going outside. This is a big deal. I'm going to get sushi in a couple of minutes. I have about 10 or 15 minutes to finish getting ready. I haven't put makeup on in, I think in about a month. I am trying to get more into makeup this year. I kind of fell off a lot. I started my channel specifically doing makeup all of the time, like every single week. I don't do it as much as I used to and honestly I kind of made a joke about it because you guys know my whole health situation I actually couldn't really see to do my makeup <laughs> for a good year or two I have better vision I love that for me even without my glasses or contacts or anything I can see enough to be able to like not botch my face so that's why I wanted to get into it more I really want to get into the dewy skin fantasy I've been watching reels and TikToks about people doing dewy skin and I really need to go to Sephora and just buy a bunch of products but I thought I would catch you guys up while I do a quick little light beat something slight you know I think I want to shave this Hold please. Okay, just finished. These little razors are lifesavers. I have never gotten a wax on my peach fuzz or dermaplaning or anything. I actually do kind of want to try dermaplaning. So if you've ever gotten that done, please let me know how you like it down below. But I wanted to update you guys on what happened this week. So Monday, you guys saw I went to Pilates and something that the instructor said that really struck with me was that she actually had scoliosis and she said that it helped with her back pain a lot. And I don't think I really talk about my back pain a lot on my channel, but I have back pain pretty much every single day from my lumbar puncture. If you guys do not know what a lumbar puncture is, it's the same thing as a spinal tap, just different naming. Essentially, they take a needle and stick it in the side next to your spine and they extract spinal fluid to see if you have an infection um they did this in 2021 right before i graduated when i was in the hospital for my autoimmune to get diagnosed they did it to make sure that i actually had an autoimmune disease and not an infection so i have had that spinal tap the person that did it god bless her soul could not find the spinal fluid so she literally removed and inserted that needle multiple times essentially from what i'm hearing from other people it's essentially an epidural with no baby um <laughs> and i really still have back pain from that to this day so i am trying my best i try everything under the sun so i'm really hoping that pilates helps with that back pain in one way or another i initially had a solid core class scheduled for thursday so today but i am doing it on sunday instead because i finally found a starter class like an introductory class to solid core so i'm going to be doing that on sunday morning at 7 a.m before work so i'm super excited for that so because i did reschedule that appointment for solid core i decided to fill in the blanks and yesterday on wednesday i went to a cycling class and y'all let me rewet this cycling in general like if you're going to a cycling class do not underestimate the people that are in that cycling class if there was ever an apocalypse anyone that takes cycling regularly is recruited on my team okay my ass hurts right now I have, I don't even know if you can see this, they kind of went down. I have like battle wounds on my hands from the handlebars. 
you guys. It was low-key embarrassing. Like, I, I honestly and truthfully could not keep up. I don't know what possessed me to do that. I think it was because I have a free trial for a class pass right now. One of my coworkers gave me a link to be able to just like refer people for the free trial. I think if you just sign up in general, they give you a free trial for a month and they give you free credits to use at any place that is affiliated with ClassPass. And the cycling place was affiliated with them and so is Solid Core. So I was able to do those classes for free and I'm able to do that until the end of February. So I'm trying to take advantage and take classes that I normally wouldn't take. I also saw a boxing facility on there and I really wanna learn how to box. I wanted to learn how to box for a couple of years. I just never got into it and I never found the right place. So I'm really looking forward to trying to do that. However, Cycling girl, I got on that bike, they clip you in. So they literally take your feet and click you into the bike. So like there's no escaping. I ended up getting into the bike and then she started. I'm thinking that this is like, just like on some chill. I don't know what I thought, but whatever I thought was extremely wrong. She was bouncing up and down, swaying left to right. And in theory, it looks so easy, like the way she's doing it. I'm like, wow, that's probably so easy to just move back and forth. Girl. I tried to get up the switch. It was, it was so. What is the feminine version of emasculating? Like that's what I felt. It was insane. Now I am usually the most inexperienced person in any type of workout class, just in general. I'm always the person that's on the bigger side. I'm pretty thick. The woman that was in front of me, God, I wish I could have talked to her, but I ended up getting a phone call at the end of the class and everybody was still in there like decompressing and I just couldn't take it anymore. My feet were literally burning, like numb burning. My hands hurt, my ass. It was insane. But the woman that was in front of me, I really wanted to tell her that she was inspiring me because every single time the coach stopped to take a drink or whatever, she just took a little break and got right back into that shit. The whole front row, honestly, of the cycling class was just on point. It was insane. It was honestly impressive like normally when i go into a workout class like i went to f45 i've been to orange theory i've been to pilates now like i can usually do it at the pace of the coach but that cycling class girl but that's what i did yesterday so my arms are sore my legs are sore literally everything is sore because that cycling class it drained me it took everything out of me girl i'm not gonna lie but i think this is it for the soft little beats I'm just gonna take my Laura Mercier. Kind of forgot to set it while I was doing all that because I was so into the cycling store. <laughs> but honestly, girl, like I just can't believe. How did the cyclers do it? Someone's calling me. Hello? I'll be in the car in like five minutes. I really need to get a new mascara, you guys. And I need to get like a lash lengthening serum or something because this is Voluminous Million Lashes. I've had this for way too long. I think you're only supposed to have your mascara. I think on the bottle it says like six months. This has definitely been here for like at least three years. So it's a little bit bad. I really want to bring it to you guys. This is just me ranting to you about everything that I want right now. December and January were so trying in so many ways. And February, I'm really just saving like crazy. And I really want some new piercings. I finally found some products to shrink my piercing bump. And if you guys can tell, I switched back to a stud in my cartilage to try to make it heal a little bit. It did get a little bit more ear. Oh my God, that just literally scared me so bad. It's my dog. Jesus, Lucky. Literally like, what was that? That was so insane. I love this little simple natural beat, but I really want to get into the dewy. I know I said that earlier, but I'm just looking at my face and all I can think is I just wish it looked dewy. I really want to get my rook back and I want to get a conch in this ear. I'm thinking about getting my tragus and a flat in this ear. As you guys know, I could not get any more tattoos, so my new outlet is piercings. <laughs> so I really want to get at least four more for sure, but I really wanted to try to heal the piercing bump that I have and it got a little bit irritated after I put the stud in. So I am gonna use a little bit more oils and cleansers. I actually forgot to mention, I actually got my fourths, if you guys can see. I got my fourths done while I was not on camera with you guys. So sorry I didn't take you, but I'm definitely gonna take you for the other piercings because I'm really excited for them. This is the makeup. I think I don't wanna do a liner I did want to in the beginning, but hit him with the lip gloss. Fenty gloss. My stomach is actually growling. I haven't eaten anything today. All I had was this cranberry and pineapple juice and I put emergency in it because y'all know how I feel about my emergency. And I just put my hair in a messy bun. I can't wait to get braids, y'all. I've been holding off because it's a little bit expensive and I didn't want to splurge on my hair immediately, but 
it's getting it's getting to that time i do love my natural hair don't get me wrong but i really just don't want to i don't feel like touching it anymore and i really want some red braids all right let me get dressed i'll show you guys the fit i'm gonna have to walk a little bit to get to this place and it's cold outside it's like 45 degrees so i'm not doing anything special but i wanted the face i wanted the face card to give never declines never that okay you guys just wearing a gray plain sweatshirt a puffy vest some yoga pants running shoes not anything special got my brandon blackwood bag just in case had to take some losses for I saw my first winnings good morning you guys it's Wednesday it's Valentine's Day and I have some explaining to do so last week I think the last time I talked to you was on Thursday so almost a week ago I was supposed to go to a Pilates class on Sunday um, that Saturday they literally canceled the Pilates class. It was a welcome starter 50 at Solid Core. And I also found out that the Solid Core that I was trying to go to was not the location that I wanted initially. So I'm kind of glad that it worked out like that. I ended up getting the right location, right time. It is currently 8.41 a.m. I cannot believe I have this much energy and my eyes are this open right now. But I have work right after this Pilates class as well. Um, it's cutting it a little bit close. But I really wanted to go to work and I really wanted to go to Pilates, so I am making it work. We have a starter 50 today at 9.30 a.m. I'm gonna arrive a little bit earlier because I have no idea where I'm going, no idea what I'm doing. I like the community and bonding and like togetherness that workout classes create, but I just hate that it's in a class at the same time. That's why I really enjoy classes with the lights off. Like I saw online that Solid Core has their lights off a lot. Um, I know that Orange Theory, I love Orange Theory. The lights are always off. I love when it's dark in there. Like Club Pilates, bright as lights. F45, bright as lights. Like I do like those classes, don't get me wrong. And I'm actually planning on going to a different location for Club Pilates just to try it out because I did enjoy the concept, just really didn't vibe with that instructor. So I'm gonna try a different location um, in the next week or so before my class pass ends um just to see how i like club pilates versus solid core but today is solid core day i'm super excited i am going to make waffles when i come back i have my little vest mom don't watch she would literally kill me right now if she knew that i was wearing just this vest in this workout set but this is the workout set from gymshark love it i didn't have anything red for valentine's day so we're going with this burgundy camo and oh my gosh i want to show you guys i bought a tv for my room finally let me show you and if you're wondering yes I still have my Christmas tree up. It started out as a joke, like I'm just gonna leave this up, but here's the thing. I don't remember if I mentioned this at the time because I didn't want to be dramatic, but here's here's Lucky. Hello, Boosh. <laughs> Is anything look different or weird here? Okay, this TV, I love the mounts and I ended up putting like a little cable hider there. However, the TV, is not center with the wall babes it's just not the tree is all the way over here when i take the tree down i'm gonna be pissed and i soar to me it's not the end of the world this is definitely like the least of my problems right now but the tv being to this side really gets to me so i haven't taken the tree down yet because it's just aesthetically unpleasing to me and it's hilarious because literally i'm the only person looking at it but it irks me that much so then from the tree to here this is the mirror that I always show you guys my fits in, but then this is the couch. So the problem is the couch is right here. This is actually centered with the wall. It's a little bit this way right now, but for the most part, I don't have a problem with this. It's when I turn around. Now I kind of don't have a problem with this in relation to the couch because I can see the TV without having to like look this way if it was centered with the wall. However, because it's not centered with the wall, I'm going to take this tree down and I'm going to replace this empty space with some artwork. Initially, I was thinking about putting like a shelf right here, but the problem is I'm going to put this tree up again. And if I want to put anything else right there, it's going to be in the way. What is that? Oh my gosh, my baby hair. Don't look at it. I don't feel like fixing it right now. It's going to get messed up in Pilates anyway. Anyway, I've kind of just been avoiding taking it down. It's literally Valentine's Day and I still have it up. I promise it'll be down before March. But anyways, back to the TV. So this is the living room one and this is the one I got for my room. So I believe I got this one from Costco. And if I remember correctly, in my moving vlogs I showed you guys, I think this was like 250 or 270, 280. It was under $300 at Costco. This is a 58 inch Samsung TV. But this TV is actually a Samsung 
Crystal UHD CU7000, girl. I do not know what that means, but it's a 4K smart TV, and this was $350. I got a 50 inch because my wall in my room has less space than the wall in my living room. This is my room, and actually, I made a new painting, you guys. I have a love-hate relationship with it, but it's like another one of these, like, abstract paintings, and I just painted it this, like, neutral color. I just wanted to make a painting similar to the one that I have above my bed in my room. I don't hate it, so it sits there. But I really want the TV to go up there, and this time I'm gonna make sure I'm watching the person that's mounting it so I can give them more directions. I actually didn't know this, but the walls that I have in my apartment have metal inside of them, which makes sense because the ceilings are like metal plating. But there's metal inside of here, but they put plywood specifically for these cables for TVs, so it makes it easier to mount for people. I'm gonna end up having the second person that mounts my TV, I'm gonna let them know that, and I'm gonna ask them to have the middle of the TV flush with the middle of this cable box. But for right now, I'm planning on, hello Lucky. <laughs> I'm planning on just putting the TV right here for whenever I wanna watch it, and then in about a week or two, I'm thinking, I might just get somebody to mount that up there. But yes, that is the plan. That is the vibe for the apartment right now. I am going to go to Pilates. I need to go get gas too because I'm literally on two miles. Please don't tell my dad. He would kill me. He would kill me if he knew that I was riding on two miles right now. But it's okay. I will make it to the gas station, dad. Don't worry. So let's go get some gas and go to Pilates. Let's see how you do under pressure, oh Yeah, I've been wanting this forever I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better Okay, hey. yeah. Ain't no errors, baby, it's a new era I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm Kesha I get to the paper, boy Extra, extra Work with me, you know that I got it Come with me, let's take a trip to the islands We up on the jet, we'll do more than just fly on it Stand on that hill, you gon' die on it Boom. Boom. Baby, I'm not one of them, you should try on it Miss me with all that I'm on it and next yeah. I send you back to your ex, but good luck with that, this is big as it gets Hey, okay. let's see how you do under pressure yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure Give them a name to remember Hey, okay, okay. let's see how you do under pressure yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure A moment can live on forever yeah. Yeah. Oh, shoot. they don't let me shoot a whole clip Firepower in this coalition We just turned the field into a demolition It was desolate, but I had premonition I was training for war every exhibition Every extra mission, every enemy listening Get off my d*** I got bad intentions, make it right every wrong And I'm back with a vengeance, I show you the wrong That was actually really, really hard <laughs> once i got there the coach actually said that it's strength training using a pilates reformer so it's not actually like club pilates two totally different things i think club pilates is literally actually pilates and solid core is more strength training based so we did a lot of core workouts we did a lot of upper body a little bit of lower body but i had a really really great time i'm about to make some waffles right now for breakfast before i have to go to work i actually made waffles like two days ago. My stomach is growling. This is actually the recipe that my grandmother uses all the time, or she used to use when I was younger, and I would spend the night at her house with my cousins. I got the recipe. And I, ever since I got the recipe, I've been making them like once every month or so because they are so good. I have work in a little minute. I think I'll be able to do everything in time. Make some breakfast, take a quick shower, and keep my hair maintained, or do it a little bit. A little, little bit more. <laughs> Yummy. That is the end of my weekly vlog. These waffles are hidden. These waffles are hitting. Thank you guys so much for watching this weekly vlog. Thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for waiting for me. And thank you for being patient with me. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.